Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's 8 p.m. car local time and this is a new edition of Panorama News. In the upcoming 35 minutes we'll be bringing you the latest of the political, economic and sports news from all around the world. I'm Henny Safe, I'll be your host for tonight and we'll start off with the political news and these are the headlines. President Isisi discusses industrial investments developments. Conference of African Ministerial Cooperative Council and Cooperative Housing Conference kick off. And the 7th International Conference for IFTE Authority kicks off in Cairo. Welcome back to the news and details. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi held a meeting on Monday with Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli and Minister of Trade and Industry Ahmed Samir on the latest economic developments. During the meeting, President Sisi instructed to activate measures concerning the industrial investments and to contact with the businessman community to deal with obstacles facing them. The President also directed to boost activities of industrial complexes across the nation and to support the young investors in the field of small and medium projects. Meanwhile, the Head of State ordered to launch promotional programs for industrial investments and database systems. The 13th Africa Ministerial Cooperative Council Conference on and the 4th International Conference for Cooperative Housing kicked off in Cairo on Monday. Housing Minister Asim Ghazar inaugurated the meetings which are held under the auspices of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. Under the theme, Growing Africa Together, the cooperatives at conferences are held in Egypt for the first time, will showcase success stories of cooperative projects and experiences in Egypt, the Arab world, Africa and the world at large. This comes as Egypt was chosen for hosting the permanent premises of the African Organization for Housing Cooperatives and for hosting the regional office of the International Cooperatives Alliance for North Africa. Minister of Endowment Sir Mohammed Mukhtar Goma said religion is concerned with making and building life and with construction drives and not with death or destruction. The minister was addressing the opening session of the 7th Global Conference of Egypt's Ifte Authority on Monday, which is held under the umbrella of the General Secretary of the Ifte Authorities worldwide and under President Abdel Fattah Sisi's sponsorship. The 7th version of the conference is themed fatwa and sustainable development. Goals. Goma added that all efforts that lead to building, construction and achieving nations, strengths, strengthens and human, strengths and human interests are essential parts of religious goals and ends. The conference is attended by high-level representatives from the UN and the WHO along scholars, ministers and religious leaders from 90 countries. The discussions aim at linking construction and cultivation on earth with Islamic religion's high ends. Sessions of the 5th week, Cairo Water Week continued for the second day running on Monday. Some 54 official delegations from different countries, in addition to 66 international organizations operating in water security, are participating in the CWW. Sessions of the 5th Cairo Water Week continued for the second day running on Monday. The week focuses on means of developing climate action as the global climate change worsened conditions at areas suffering water scarcity. The event also seeks innovations in facing water challenges with non-conventional methods. Some 54 official delegations from different countries, in addition to 66 international organizations operating in water security, are participating in Cairo Water Week. Earlier, in remarks at the CWW opening session, Foreign Minister Samah Shukri said that the world is currently facing mounting challenges due to overpopulation and climate change. In his capacity as the chairperson of the 27th UN Climate Change Conference, Egypt's top diplomat said a roundtable debate will be held on water security. The minister called on all participants to take part in the upcoming conference with the aim of coordinating efforts on water challenges, 
warning of any unilateral actions regarding water security. The Cairo Water Week has become an active regional and international platform to discuss water issues, increasingly important to enhance international peace and sustainable development with the aim of intensifying international action on water and climate. On the International Day for the Eradication of Poverty, First Lady Mrs. Anthasada Sisi paid tribute to the efforts of the state institutions with the civil society to eradicate poverty across Egypt. She said these efforts are shown through a lot of initiatives from which we are reaping fruits day after day, and the most important among them is the Decent Life Initiative that aims at changing lives of millions of Egyptians and offering decent lives for them that fit the new republic. The Interior Ministry announced on Monday that security forces have arrested a man disguising in a woman's clothing who works with the police. The ministry added that the arrested suspect used to broadcast fake videos and audios which hint that the Brotherhood Terrorist Group has supporters. Saudi Kingston Ben Ben Abdelaziz called on Iran to fulfill its nuclear commitments and to cooperate with the UN nuclear agency. In an address to the Kingdom's Advisory Shura Council on Sunday, King Salman also said the Kingdom was working hard to support stability and balance in oil markets, including by establishing and maintaining the agreement of the OPEC Plus alliance. He added that his country was a mediator of peace and highlighted the Crown Prince's initiative to release POWs from Russia last month. A Russian officer was quoted as saying that Russian and Syrian forces have killed 20 militants in 